In this video, we're going to talk about how to edit for desktop, tablet, and mobile. Down here at the bottom, you see these three icons. They appear everywhere. Anytime you're editing anything, you can switch between desktop, tablet, and phone, even on single elements. So let's scroll down here and let's take a look at the call to action we created earlier. When I click on tablet, you'll see that it shrinks everything down. When I click on phone, it's again, totally responsive. But let's say I wanted a little bit different experience on the phone. I didn't want these images to show up. I'm gonna click on advanced and you'll notice some new features here. Custom position, custom add-on, hidden on desktop, tablet, or hidden on mobile. I'm gonna hide that on mobile and click save. Now when I'm on my desktop, and I click on mobile, it's still there. But when I visit this page on a mobile device, that won't be there. What if I want this text to be a slightly different size? Well, here's my call to action. And right now on the title font size, it's 25 point. On the desktop, it's 50. And on the iPad or tablet device, it's 35. So again, you see it's very contextual here, and you can change that size to be whatever you want. If I edit this for the desktop and bring that down to 30, well, still doesn't change the others. They stay the way they are. And that's a terrific feature here, enabling you to really specify the layouts, look and feel for mobile versus desktop. I think probably the most important part of using this particular element is the idea of font sizes. Of course, that's pretty critical as you go from device to device. And under the advanced tab, being able to hide or show things, desktop, tablet, and mobile. Now, what you can't do with this is you can't necessarily override everything based on the device that you're on. So if I'm on a desktop and I click on this and I click on style, and I change the text color to black, it changes the text color on all of them. So once again, if I make that red, go back to the desktop, it's not going to totally change those styles for me based on the device that I'm on. Of course, if I really wanted that, I could come down and add some custom CSS. You've got all the power you need using SP Page Builder and the desktop, tablet, and phone experience for your users.